Hey everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to show you my recent purchase, which is the Mean Girls <laughs> Burn Book from Amazon. So grab a snack and come on back. So first of all, thanks for coming by. Obviously you're here because you are a Mean Girls fan, just like I am. And I just have always loved the Burn Book idea. Like, not like, I mean, I know it's mean, but I think it's really cool. Like just the whole picture, the graphics, like it's so pretty. And so, um, Annie plans back in the day, she had a printable, which you can probably maybe still get if you request it, but here it is in my mini happy planner. Here it is in my mini happy planner and it was from Annie Plans and I remember one time I was doing a flip and then someone was like, oh, what's in your burn book? Because I didn't want to show it, but really there's nothing. It was just a bunch of list paper that you can get for your, um, for your planner. And so, I mean, it's just, I just wrote like things that I love. But anyways, I love this idea of the burn book. It's so pretty. So then why not get a planner? So let me tell you all about this. Here is the ribbon that comes around it. So as you can see, it is hardcover ruled journal. It has 192 pages, archival paper, and I mean, I don't, I, I guess I'm assuming it is from the movie. It is. There it is. Paramount Pictures. It's definitely a legit uh, burn book, like the graphics and stuff. It's from um, the production. And so there you go. Have a lot of feelings. Don't worry. Put it in the book. Modeled after the iconic burn book from the hit film Mean Girls. This hardcover journal lies flat when open and includes 192 ruled pages, a ribbon placeholder, an elastic band, and a back pocket for storing keepsake and mementos so there you go so this is from amazon if you just type in burn book i'm sure it will pop up so let me show you what it is and i've already started decorating it i'm sorry about my lighting i just really wanted to film this so i can continue decorating it and writing it writing in it so first of all we are met with a true pink color i'm sure the camera is not doing a whole bunch of justice but it is a nice really um, it's a true pink to like what the movie looked like and there is a bit of embossing a little bit of a raised graphics here as you can see the cutout letters they are glossy and it is just stunning and it's really cool because like you see pictures of the the actual burn book from the movie but to see it in front of you like from the movie production and see what it says is really cool and as you can see it's all glossy the lips on the back are also modeled after the movie. There's a bit of branding and the lips are also glossy. It has a very slight embossing. It's nothing too chunky. At the top, it is a little bit uh, raised, but it's nothing that will get in the way. So as you can see, it is, oh, let me show you this side. So it is a true white. It is lined, okay, has a black ribbon. So I've already started kind of just um, deco collaging, art collaging in it. And so that's something I really love to do. Um, I love to plan, I love my happy planner, I love my passion planner, I love all stuff like that. But it's really nice to just sit down and be creative and use a bunch of things that I have lying around. So first of all, you open the book and you are met with this beautiful collage. I did not obviously do this. This comes from the book and it has a lot of mean girl references. It makes you wonder if that is what the true burn book looked like on the inside. And um, I mean, obviously not because go, go and Coco. But as you can see, there's a lot of great references. It is actually a hot pink, not hot, but there's different gradients of pink on the inside. If you can see, this is um, not a true dark black. It's a very, um, I want to say kind of faint black, so it's not so stark. And there are different gradient hues of pinks. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. So it may look like a dark pink on camera, but it really is a light pastel-y looking pink. And so, I mean, like, come on. Who doesn't want this in their collection? It is so cool. It is gruel. So 
like it was saying, it has ruled sheets. The sheets are a ivory color. It is not a true stark white. And then the lines are more of a, a tinge of blue. It's not a harsh black or gray line. So it's really nice. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like super blue, but it's like, uh, it's there. And then here is the ribbon, which is, you know, it's not spectacular or anything. Honestly, it's, it's probably going to just bother me. That's why it's in the back. I'll probably fold it up and then tuck it into the pocket. The pocket liner, I can see, has some hot pink inside. And you can put your stickers in there. You can put, you know, any notes. And then here is the band, which is that black elastic band, which, you know, you can um, protect your burn book like burn book like this however I've kind of stayed away from putting the elastic bands on my covers because I don't know I just find like it creates an imprint later on especially when your planner starts to get chunky so I stay away from stuff like that I mean I'm not gonna cut it off but it's there Okay, so I'm just going to now show you. So that's basically the planner. So if that's what you came for, <laughs> please make sure you give it a like and subscribe. But now I'm going to show you how I decorated it. So on the inside, oh, you do get this um, cloud bubble that says property of. So I wrote my name with happy planner stickers. These are bubbled letter stickers, like balloon stickers. And then these picture references are all from that haul I did which is on my channel and you can get those stickers on Amazon or Etsy. I think everyone, you know, if you type in, um, if you type in things like, uh, cheers or Frasier or friends, friends, stickers, or any TV show, like I know the office is a big hit, the office stickers, you will get a collection of stickers that come in a pack and they're all just, they're all just like screen grabs and stuff like that. So, that is where I got these stickers from. I mean, if you if you really have time, then you can print them out on your printer. And then I have some deco stickers from the Honeybee Shop and then just a regular deco sticker. I don't know why I put the watermelon juice here. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it looked good. The washi is from Bando. And I really like the No Bad Days and the Hearts washi is also from Bando. Bando. These sticky notes were given to me from a friend and I just have a ton of them. So my goal is to use everything I have. So I just kind of stuck them there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this page, but I'm just decorating it for the sake of decorating it. Here again, I took some pictures, not some pictures, some stickers from the deco sticker pack and I used some grid washi and I just decided to find some quotations and references to the movie that were one of my fav, like some of my favorites. And so this little um, mini paragraph, I just grabbed that from the internet movie database. And so it's just really cool. It was such a great movie. Let me tell you, I remember story time. I remember in Toronto when they were filming Mean Girls and on much music, they had like a like the whole day or the whole week was a special on the filming of the movie. And um, I'm sorry if I say her name, Rachel Adams, Rachel McAdams, is it? Um, and then just interviews with all of the girls. And it was like a big thing. But then we, I, I feel like no one really knew how big it would have gotten. And it was a big thing. It was amazing. And so... I just think about those times and I'm like, wow, all those interviews. Anyways, so just going back to this, again, some more deco stickers, some more quot quotations. I can't speak to her. I don't know. I'm just so freaking excited. And then in my haul video, I thought this was Mean Girls 2. I tried to watch Mean Girls 2 and I didn't get through it. But this is actually Mean Girls, the Broadway play. I mean, I don't know if it was on Broadway, but it was the play. And so these are what those stickers are. I've never seen it, um, but I added it here. Like, I don't know some of these references. I also Googled I'd Rather Be Me, and then I realized that reference was a song that was made for the live action narrative. And so I listened to the song. It's not my jam. And so... You know, I just put that on one page and I got rid of all the, um, what do you call it? The Broadway, the live action stickers. Here are some more sticky notes. Again, washi from Bando. And then again, just using up that sticky notes. And you're probably like, is that all you're going to do? 
absolutely not. I'm probably going to journal. I'll probably write some things. I'll probably make a list, like things I don't like. I don't like to uh, write lists about things I hate or anything like that. Hate is such a strong word. But things that I dislike or maybe, you know, I'm just going to make this a very self-centered journal, probably, <laughs> and just have it all about me. And so at the end, you see this page, it says, so fetch, and it has the branding insights. And I'm just gonna zoom in in case you're curious, and there is what it looks like. I like to film videos to remember what I purchased and stuff like that. So that's why I am, you know, on YouTube, really. And I think it just, it makes me feel so good. Yeah. And so here's the back and it is the same print as the front. So you're not missing anything. I mean, if you wanted to collage or something, you can definitely do that here. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave it nice and clean here in the back. And then that's pretty much it, my friends. That is the Mean Girls journal. And you can make it your own. You can do whatever you want to do. If you want to talk about, you know, anything, your recipes, whatever, recipes you don't like, I mean, you know, you can put that in here. But I just thought it was such a sick idea, and I love it. I really do. I'm really excited to keep this part of my collection, and it looks really nice on my library. I mean... I don't know if I'll write anything on the spine. If I do, I would use my Cricut and I'd use vinyl so it looks nice and clean. But it's very, very beautiful. It's a great gift for anybody who loves Mean Girls. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I appreciate you coming by. Take care. Bye.